Good day to you all. Now it's been a wee while since I last did a video, but there's just something I would like to open a discussion on and I'd love to hear back from you whether you're disabled or not disabled. Now I'm going to use three examples here. The first one, I was up in Wanaka with the Waka Armour crew at the weekend. I used my running blade for that because then I don't have to clean out the hydraulics in my other ankle um, and it just makes everything easier. And I had gotten off after three hours of paddling up the lake and we were at the floating cafe. I was lying on a bench seat to stretch out my hips for a bit and someone, uh, a, a man walked up to me and said, uh, oh, is it cool to be part of Waka Armour? And I sort of like looked around and sat up and, you know, making conversation. Then he said, oh, that's a cool blade. I bet it's very bouncy. And I said, oh, it sure is. I, and then he says, my daughter has got one arm. And I looked around and his daughter was standing next to him and she had a long sleeve jersey on, but I could see she um, had one arm missing above the elbow. And anyway, we just made pleasantries and talked about general stuff and off they went. Um, neither one of us asked what happened to the other one, which is the first question an able-bodied person always asks. And neither one of us even probably would even consider doing that. I just treat everyone like they're a normal person, whether they are normal or whether they are disabled. That's always the way I've been, even before I was disabled. Today I was at a hardware store. I was looking for something and uh, the young man that I asked didn't know if they had it and so he went to get someone else. And they were talking about the fact they didn't stock this thing and a third female staff member um, was standing around in the background. She walked over and had not been part of the conversation just as I was leaving and she said, oh, that's a cool leg. And I sort of went, sorry? That's a cool leg. And I sort of thought, uh, Thanks. <laughs> and then off I went thinking, what about the other leg? Is my right leg cool? Um, was it appropriate to address the fact that I had a disability just like that randomly without even introducing yourself or not even being part of the conversation in the first place? Was that, was that, oh, was that right? Was that acceptable to do that? And as I was in the middle of wondering that on the way to my next location and I'm standing in line at the till in this place and there's two ladies in front of me and one of them spots my artificial leg and um, turns around and whispers to her friend and the two of them sort of like look down and they're turning, looking around at me and pointing and looking around and talking and neither one of them looked me in the eye, neither one of them um, spoke to me at all. And I thought that just is really rude to do that. It's like a small child pointing and staring and the mom, you know, the mum saying, don't do that. Well, these were two, you know, um, older ladies and I wouldn't say that's appropriate at all. I just couldn't be asked with the argument, to be frank, having just had an incident in the shop before, so I just didn't even say anything. But then it made me wonder, is it all right to directly draw some, uh, some the attention to someone's disability? Is it all right to indirectly draw attention to someone's disability? I'm actually not sure that either one of them are appropriate, certainly not without permission. Um, what do you think? Because personally, I would just rather you treat me like a normal person, uh, like everyone else, without drawing attention to anything. It's not necessary. For example, would I say to someone walking down the street, oh, that's a cool bald head you've got there, or it's cool that you're really short, or cool fat rolls you've got there. Where do we draw the line here exactly? And what is okay or not okay? I'd love to hear what you think about the matter.